Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and this is Budget Sew, where we create stylish, fashionable looks as inexpensively as possible. Today is December 7th and the 7th day of Vlogmas. Vlogmas is a holiday event where YouTube creators such as myself post a video every day in December leading up to Christmas. Today we're going to make Festive Fox Family Felt Ornaments. Say that 10 times fast. Just a quick note before we get started, today I'm wearing Vogue 8408. The link to the video with that dress is right here at the top of the screen. I found this festive family fox felt ornament pattern online more than a year ago, but only recently decided to make up these cute furry friends. I couldn't find the original website from where I printed it, but I found it on Pinterest, so I'll post the link in the description box below. I love fox Christmas ornaments and I thought that this sweet family of foxes would look great on my Christmas tree with my other fox ornaments. So let's get started. The recommended materials for this project were an eighth of an inch ribbon or pearl cotton, embroidery floss, water soluble glue stick or pins, and stuffing such as polyfill. My recommended materials were different though. I used felt in four colors, red, white, black, and green. I used thread to match the felt, thick green thread, white glue, pins, and remnants for stuffing. Step one of the instructions said, cut out pattern pieces, cut out felt pieces, the instructions also included a tip. Use marking tools such as a water soluble marker to transfer the shapes onto felt. That was a great idea, but I don't have any water soluble markers. My first step was to do a rough cut out of the pattern, starting with the body of the larger fox. Then I pinned the paper pattern onto my red felt and cut it out. I had orange felt, but it was too neon for this project. Then I cut out a second red fox body. Two of these pieces are needed for each ornament. I bought my felt in a package of 45 sheets, approximately 6 by 6 inches for $3 at Dollarama, a Canadian dollar store. There were five sheets of each of the nine colors, including yellow, red, pink, blue, white, black, light green, dark green, and orange. You may remember this felt from my Sew the Queen's Corgi Pillow video where I applique a corgi onto a pillow. The link to the McCall's Crafts Sew the Queen's Corgi Pillow is at the top of the screen. Then I cut out the eyes and nose out of black felt. These pieces were more difficult to cut out because they were so small. I did a rough cut out of the eyes and nose and then pinned them on the felt and then cut them out along the pattern line. Then I removed the pattern piece and rounded off the edges. I followed this same technique for the rest of the pattern pieces. I cut out the tail, tummy, face and ears out of white felt, and the bow tie and hair bow out of green felt. Step 2 of the instructions said, pin or lightly glue the white pattern pieces onto the orange body outline. Using a strand of embroidery floss, whip stitch or blanket stitch around the perimeter of each piece. I used a small amount of my white glue to tack the white felt pieces onto the body. Then I used some white thread to whip stitch around the edges of the white pieces to secure them to the body of the fox. 
I also use this felt on another project. I applique three white felt hearts onto a red sweater. The link to my how to add a felt applique video is at the top of the screen. I have plenty of felt left over for other projects, such as McCall's 6482. This pattern really makes me smile. McCall's 6482 was published in 2011 and is an owl pillow and quilt pattern. Pillows A and B are 14 inches by 14 inches, or 36 centimeters by 36 centimeters. Quilt C is 34 inches by 45 inches or 87 centimeters by 115 centimeters. All views have a contrast back, bands, and appliques. My mom bought this pattern for me for 25 cents at the Optimus Thrift Store in Lucan, Ontario. The link to the video in which this pattern is featured is at the top of the screen. Once I had tacked the tail to the body with glue, I threaded a needle with white thread and knotted off the end. I poked my needle up through the back of the white felt tail about an eighth of an inch from the edge. Now the knot was between the white tail and the red body and not visible. Next I poked the needle through both the red felt body and the white felt tail, an eighth of an inch from the first stitch as well as an eighth of an inch from the edge of the tail. I made sure that the stitch that went through the fox outline was as small as possible and slightly under the edge of the tail so that there were no long threads outlining the tail. I continued this stitch, the whip stitch, all the way around the white felt pieces to secure them to the fox. Before I continue with the fox ornaments, please like and share this video with your friends and family. I would love to help others sew and refashion on a budget and troubleshoot their favorite patterns. I also love sharing the treasure that I find at thrift shops. If you'd like to see more from Budget Sew, please subscribe and make sure that the bell is on so you receive a notification when I release a new video. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Budget Sew. Now, Back to the foxes. Step three of the instruction said, lightly glue the black nose and eye pieces in place using the diagram as a guide. Whip stitch around the perimeter of each piece. I tack the eyes, nose, and hair bow to the fox using my white glue. I made the whole family of felt foxes. The mom, the dad, and the baby. They're so cute. Then I whip stitch the nose to the fox body. I used black Coates and Clark all purpose dual duty thread that I bought from Value Village thrift store to secure the eyes and nose to the fox. This thread was in a big bag of brand new Coates and Clark thread for $1.99. I think that there were 20 spools of black and white thread, so it was quite a deal. I checked the thread before buying it and it was very strong and newer than some of the thread in my sewing box. I used emerald green thread that matched the bow to secure it to the fox. I bought this lovely green 100% polyester serger thread from Fabricland for $1.99. Serger thread is a bit thinner than regular thread, but it was the best color match to the bow. I used this thread to sew my Simplicity 8999 pants. The link to the video with that sew along is at the top of the screen. Step 4 of the instructions said, Cut an eighth of an inch wide ribbon, seven inches long for the large fox, 
and 5 inches long for the small, or length preferred. Fold the ribbon down in half with the raw edges meeting. Stitch the bottom edges securely in place on the inside of the back body piece. I bought this thick green thread from Value Village thrift stores. It was included in a big bag of old thread on wooden spools. I don't use any of this thread to sew together my garments, but rather for marking purposes only, such as darts and symbols. I also use the old wooden spools for French knitting. Hammer four nails in the wooden spool and you're ready to go. This thick green thread was perfect as the hanger for my foxes because the green thread will blend into the Christmas tree. I knotted the end of my green thread so that it was easier to secure the hanger to the fox. Step 5 of the instructions said, Using a whip stitch or blanket stitch, attach the completed front of the fox to the back of the fox. It included another tip. Stitch using thread that matches the fox body and stitch behind the white pieces on the front to hide the stitches. I used my red thread to whip stitch around the red sections of the fox and then I used white thread to whip stitch around the white sections. To make the ornaments more Christmassy, you could change the bows to holly leaves and add red felt circles for berries. Or if you're feeling extra brave, you could add Santa hats. You can customize these adorable foxes however you like. An optional step in the instructions was to add polyfill stuffing as you sew if you prefer a stuffed fox. I didn't have any polyfill so I used some faux fur that lined the calf sections of an old pair of knee-high winter boots. The soles of the boots wore out so I removed the ties, D-rings and faux fur to be used in other sewing projects. I cut off little pieces of the faux fur and stuffed the fox as I sewed. I had taken my winter boots to the cobbler to have new soles put on them last year, but the soles were out again. I walk a lot. The zippers were on their last legs too, so it was time to buy a new pair. Before throwing the old boots in the garbage, I took a look at them to see what could be reused. I don't have a project in mind for the ties and the D-rings yet, but I thought I might use the faux fur to line a pair of mittens or for a hat band to keep my ears extra warm and toasty. Here are the finished foxes!
I hope you enjoyed making these festive fox ornaments with me. Please like and share this video with your friends and family. I love sharing my new, vintage, and out of print sewing patterns, and my tips, tricks, quick fixes, and even my mistakes when sewing along with you. I also love sharing my wonderful fabric finds that I thrifted from charity shops as well as brand new fabric online and in store. If you'd like to see more from Budget Sew, please subscribe and press the bell so you receive a notification when I release a new video. If you'd like to stay up to date with Budget Sew, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Budget Sew. Thanks for watching! See you next time!